What's going on people? It is time for Evolution. We welcome you to the Garden Art Family. And so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some advice or some tips on how to advance or, or expand your, your art awareness. So this can apply if you're uh, anyone, a beginner or, or advanced, etc. And this tip is something that I haven't been using a lot or I haven't been consciously thinking about it a lot. And so this concept is called, whenever you're drawing, always envision the 3D grid within your mind because everything exists within this 3D grid. And so when you have this 3D grid in mind, understand one point, two point, and three point perspective mainly. Whenever, you're, uh, whenever you have this 3D grid in your mind, whenever you're starting to draw something, think about 3D space. Think about the, the 3D grid. You know, think about the horizon line. And so if you have experience with drawing backgrounds, you understand where I'm coming from. And so when you're thinking about the 3D grid, uh, we have to understand that everything exists within this 3D grid. Humans, uh, buildings, or anything that you can think of exists within this 3D space. You know, everything is constructed within this 3D space. And now there's like advanced perspectives, like four, four, uh, four point perspective and five point, etc. But right now we're just gonna stick to one, two, and three. These are the main things that I feel people have to like understand to advance themselves with, with the drawing. So some people in the art community are afraid of drawing backgrounds or anything dealing with perspective. And so I feel what I've said a long time ago is that art gives the illusion of complexity, but at its core, it is very simplistic. When you understand the core, when you understand the fundamental, it is very simplistic. And so when it comes to drawing or imagining or envisioning that 3D grid, it's important to know and have the, 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 the vision of 3D, have the vision of the horizon line, where you're looking up, where you're looking down, you know? And so it's, a, it's good if, if, you're, uh, if you're new to, to drawing, I feel the first step for, uh, for people to have this 3D grid in mind is to understand, uh, practice drawing uh, squares and, and, and buildings in a uh, 3D grid horizon line type of uh, area in, in the 3D grid. You know, practice drawing squares uh, and any kind of uh, uh, shape within this 3D grid. So look up on YouTube, one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective. Look that up and, and, and practice that. The more you practice that, the more you're going, your, your mind is going to get trained into adapting this kind of mindset. If you never practice one point, two point, and three point perspective, you'll, you'll never adapt a new mindset if you don't take the first step to doing something. You know, it's, it's similar to like working out. Uh, at first, it's gonna be very, uh, when you first go to the gym, it's very, uh, it's very, uh, it's very difficult. You know, it's too, you, you feel very strained. Uh, you may get super sore the first day. You could barely move your arms after, after the workout. You know, it gets very difficult. So over time, the, your, your workouts become easier and you get more uh, strength. So basically, uh, let's say you start out with 10, 10 pounds, 10 pound dumbbells, right? And eventually you get used to 10 pound dumbbells and it, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't, it doesn't give you that, that, uh, that soreness of the muscles because the muscles need that soreness, that, that pain to like, uh, to grow, you know? So you, you, it just starts to become so easy when you're lifting the 10 pound dumbbells, you know? And so eventually you become a lot more, uh, you know, stronger if you start to increase that dumbbell. So now it's not 10, 10 pounds, it's uh, it's 20 pound dumbbells that you're lifting. You know, and you're gonna keep uh, increasing that threshold. It's, it's the same thing for for art, for anything. You just have to start, start, do do the practice, do the practice, so that your your body and your mind becomes used to it, and then you can challenge yourself with more advanced forms of perspective. And so, whenever you're walking down the street. Uh, you can even practice perspective when you're walking. Uh, try to spot where the horizon line is. 
uh, where the vanishing point is when you're, when you're walking, where the vanishing point is that, that are going towards the building. Like try to spot these, these little points in, in photographs and, and spot them in real life. Spot them when you're looking out the window. Spot them when you're walking to the grocery, grocery store. Just, just spot these, these, uh, these little nuances. This is how you're going to train yourself to have this, this uh, 3D grid mindset. And so remember that everything exists within the 3D grid. You know, 3D, three and three point perspective, three three points. You know, so there's one point, two point, three point. Understand these two, these three concepts within this 3D grid. And for example, uh, for, for three point activates when you're super close to an object, uh, or you're super close to a towering object or a large object. Or you're super close to a very towering object, but you're looking at it above, like a bug. You're looking at the, the, the thing from above. For example, if the person may, may uh, seem like a giant, if, if a bug is looking at that person from above, you know what I'm saying? Or a person looking at a building, which is like a giant. You know, this, this is when three-point perspective activates. Two-point perspective activates when, you're, uh, when the camera zooms out. And, and, and as it zooms out, the, 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 the extra point on the top or on the bottom, uh, it disappears. What, what, what remains is the, the two vanishing points within the horizon line. Okay, and the horizon line is the line that a uh, individual looks at directly. You know, so just understand understand these concepts whenever you're you're drawing a human, whenever you're drawing a building. Understand everything exists within that 3D grid. And so as you're as you're practicing drawing your your, your squares and your shapes within the 3D grid, understanding one point, two point, three point perspective, you'll have a much more better time drawing. Uh, drawing humans because many people set foundation foundations when they draw you know so when you're setting a foundation for example uh, uh, cubes uh, spheres you know these are foundation cylinders these are foundations that people do when they draw you know and when, when you have when you have uh, the 3d grid you have an understanding of where to place the, the boxes how to morph the, the shape to make it look uh, proper in the in, in the eyes of perspective, then you'll have a much more easier time understanding how to do that for an actual human. You know, because many people they draw they draw the foundation and then that's when they start to do the uh, the anatomical stuff, the details, the designs, and it makes it look a lot more a lot more fluid and natural. You know, there are some advanced people that can skip these steps. For example, Kim Jong Ji. And uh, and this person, whenever he draws, he has the, the the 3D grid in his in his mind mentally, you know. So and 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 also he can skip he, he can skip a whole bunch of steps. He doesn't have to do the, the cylinder or or the sphere or, or any of that. You know, he understands. Uh, he understand like he's he's a he's a master at his craft. He understands where everything goes. He understands the grid lines. The uh, where where things are at within the grid line he has a mental image of the 3d grid you know what i'm saying so i'm not at that point yet where i can like completely uh draw from memory and have uh have uh without like points but but you know i feel that as humans we can we can definitely get there and i feel a lot of this a lot of this has has to do with uh with uh with the mindset that we have, you know, what is our mindset going into these, going into these subjects? Are we, are we feeling a, a sense of a sense of fear? Are we feeling feeling a sense of uh, uh, a low self-esteem or a sense of lack? These can these can trigger the outcome of the the byproduct of your artwork. A, a very simple case is, for example, when a person is inking. Uh, you can tell that the person is not very confident in his ink strokes because there's a, a bit of uh, some jagged lines going on there, you know. So, our the way we that we feel intern internally uh, expresses itself in the way the art is shaped. And so there are two kinds of artists. And so if you're an, an, if you're a beginner and you're in your uh, 
you're studying and when you're practicing, etc. You know, expect to make some mistakes, but don't don't criticize yourself too much. Don't don't overthink. And uh, and over, and doing this will make you improve much more faster as opposed to someone who keeps on criticizing themselves. And compared to the the second type of artist who who does have a a long background or have some knowledge of it. And it, it take, can take that person a while to to really evolve and grow. It's most likely uh, something uh, in a internal battle that person is facing that's preventing him or her from advancing even further. And so that's my opinion. And so I have a video called How to Improve at Drone, the emotional approach. So you can check that out. That will be in, in the link in the description. And, and also, uh, if you were to go back to that video, you can see how I've also improved from making that video. So you can see the artwork that I have there and you can see what, I'm, what I do now. And so to come back into the topic of understanding the 3D grid, it's important to understand the logic. You know, draw with intention. Understand what you're doing, and then you draw. You know, understand what's happening, then draw. Understand the, the process, and then draw. You know, and then you'll un you'll see yourself gradually, gradually improving. Because the logic of what is happening is going to become second nature the more you keep on channeling that mindset. So to expand my knowledge and perspective, I'm going to be purchasing two books, which is Frame per Perspective 1 and Frame Perspective 2. And as I'm reading these books and gaining more knowledge, I'm also going to be putting them into, into practice with my current works. And so as I'm reading these books and gaining knowledge, I'm also going to be channeling that information from those books into my new works. So I'm going to constantly be thinking about that the, the information those books has to have told me so that it becomes second nature the more and more I keep thinking about the logic that I've learned within those books, you know? So that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave so in the, in the comments down below. And peace.